The Vice Chancellor of the International Open University, IOU, Dr. Omar, Ch Omar Bari, has launched his book titled A Brief History of Education in the Gambia on Saturday. Aisru Biai Kujabi attended the event and she now tells us more in this report. Dr. Shano Omar Bari, the Vice Chancellor of the International Open University, launched a book on the history of education in the Gambia. Dr. Bari stated the motivation behind the book. First of all, it's important to realize that the history of education um, is, a, is a very important element for us. The reason is that it is the, it is the springboard on which we will discover and understand where we came from, how we have evolved in education, but also where we might have seen had challenges and then difficulties and how we have transformed ourselves. You know, um, unless we have this kind of a book as a reference material, it will be difficult to determine how we will move on in the future. Nana Gray Johnson, an author, highlighted the history of Gambia's education from a Christian perspective. And when I opened my friend's book, I'm not going to give him all these big titles, because that man was from grassroots. When I opened my friend's book, I saw the language that led me to believe a fulfillment that I find in the Bible in Psalm 118 verse 22, the stone that the builders rejected has become the stone at the head corner. And indeed, he is giving us the metaphor of education as that very stone upon which all development, upon all, all realization must be fixed for any sense to be made of our liberation and our independence. So what do I do? I go back and I say, what kind of education were we given? What kind of education were we given? Colonial education, as Christian, with a late motif of Christianity as much as possible, taught us consumption. The education did not teach us production. And so we, sm we must not be surprised with the kind of kleptocracy that we see in our systems all over the world, all over Africa. It's because we have a misguided notion of education. We have been taught to think that education is for power. And so because we have been taught to be consumers all our history, when we get into office, we think this is the time to consume more. Ajay Maimuna Savage, an Islamic scholar, highlighted some of the challenges facing women's education in the Gambia. Made it compulsory upon every male and female to seek knowledge by saying, Talabul ilmi farida tunala kulli muslim. And knowledge must be sought from the cradle to the grave. He also said, in a statement related by Anas, so an Anas in radiallahu anhu qal, qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man kharaja fi talabu ilmi, fa huwa fi sabilillahi hatta yarjaya, saying whosoever leaves his or her house in search of knowledge, that person is on Allah's way until he or she returns. Alhamdulillah, I was born at a time when education for women was not so much in the Gambia, but alhamdulillah, I attended the Methodist Primary School and then continued my high school at the Gambia High School. But my late father, Alhaji Muhammad Yadali Savage, he was an imam for 36 years. He made it possible for us to learn about Islam. It was not easy during those days. It was in the 50s, late 50s, early 60s. It was not just easy. But alhamdulillah, today we are reaping the benefit of this education. Um, alhamdulillah, today in the Gambia, we all know how important the education of a woman is. Here we have a female vice president, female ministers, we have a female governor, doctors and lawyers, alhamdulillah, just to name a few. 
Dr. Cherno Omar Bari has taught for eight years at the University of the Gambia, where he was also a ma managing editor of the UTG Focus magazine and a coordinator of French and UNESCO club. Dr. Bari is current president of the Writers Association of the Gambia, former executive secretary at the National Human Rights Commission, and permanent secretary in several ministries. Dr. Barry holds a PhD doctorate in comprehensive literature from the University of Limoges, France. He also obtained his Bachelor of Arts degree in English and French from St. Mary's University, Halifax, Canada, and a Master of Arts in Simology and a Master of Philosophy in comprehensive literature both from the University of Limoges in France. For Africa News, ICTBI Kujabi.